last. Right, I have, as I said in my uh, vlog about where I'd been, went to Boys and uh, purchased 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 items. Um, and the total came to £76.89, which is actually not bad. There are 2, 4, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14, 15, about 16 metres there. So that's not bad for price. So, a bit disappointed though, because when I was talking, this lovely lady that served me, was saying that she was being made redundant and uh, she felt rather annoyed because she was being made to work and all the other ones who were, who were already furloughed weren't being made to work and she was a bit fed up with the life and she said that she'd put her house up for sale. She's got, she's divorced with a 15 year old son, put her house up for sale and um, she was just basically fed up with the situation and I'm sure there must be millions upon millions of people in exactly the same boat so these are tough times ahead um probably shouldn't be buying fabric but you know if i'm going to be tied into this place because we're almost in semi-lockdown then i might as well be sewing anyway i thought i'd show you what i bought first of all i got some navy jersey navy jersey and it was um two meters of it it's called a butcher stripe basically i haven't i haven't made any t-shirts with navy stripe and it's a butcher stripe and i got one meter of this and the one meter was how much was the butcher stripe you know i can't see it it must have been Are there? The navy was six pound fifty a meter, so that's not bad. Six pound fifty, and I got a meter of it, so I thought I will make myself a nice uh, jersey top to go with it. And in contrast, I bought half a meter of this, which is the contrast there. So I've got the blue, and I've got the the dark blue and the blue and white. There wasn't much left of that one, I think. But I figured that I'm more of a dark blue person and keep it cleaner. I'm, I'm terrible for getting dirty. Now, the next one that I got was this. And this is like a... What's this called? It's a it's a butcher striped seer sucker in grey. And that was it there. I don't know if you can see. If I go right close there. It has a crinkle type of effect. But not like the crinkle effect of that blouse that I made. This is a cotton... And it's lovely, it's rather nice that. Uh, I was thinking of a nice shirt, a long, a long shirt to wear over a t-shirt in the in the uh, warmer, the warmer day on the warmer days that we have in the autumn and in the springtime. So that's I got uh, how much of this did I get? This I got um uh da -da 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 -da, butcher stripe in grey one meter and it was three pounds i thought i got more than i got two meters just only charged me for one meter um but i got two meters two meters of this so that will make a nice shirt then i got um this pink pink ray fuchsia pink rayon chalice and i i think i got a meter of that rayon chalice where's that rayon chalice Viscose chalice, yes. I no, no. I got two meters. Two meters. They were three. It was three pound a meter. I don't know if you can see how that close up, but it's just basically a lovely cotton rayony type of thing. It doesn't crease, or if it does crease, it's not too noticeable. So I figured that would make a nice t-shirt. Then what was the next one? Let's see. Oh, I got two lots of this. This is like a. Um, this is a see-through crepe. What is it? A crepe? This is textured Georgette. You can see through it. You can see through it. And I don't know if you can see how textured it is. 
but I have a couple of bought shirts that I wear over, um, basically a couple of bought shirts I like to wear over um, a black t-shirt. I've got one that's in orange, one that's in red, and I figured that that would make a nice drapey shirt to go over the top of other clothes just to kind of hide the bumps and bulges when you know um i'll show you what i mean i'll put a picture up to show you what i mean about this shirt that i want to make so i got this it, it's like a fuchsia pink it's beautiful sick lemon cum fuchsia pink to go with the pink hair <laughs> and i bought two meters of that i think it's 60 inches wide and the other one i got which they had on offer was the turquoise turquoise green it's actually more of a yeah it's like the same color as on there and i got two meters of that and this was this was one pound 80 a meter can you you know one pound 80 yeah they were both one pound 80 a meter so <laughs> i just couldn't believe it it's, they're almost giving it away one pound 80 a meter so i got two meters of the pink and two meters of the uh, the turquoise it's called jade that's called jade then um well, I thought, I saw this and I thought I'm going to prep for Christmas. If Christmas doesn't happen, so be it. But I thought I'll prep just in case. And I got a metre of this poinsettia type cotton because I can use it for table decorations. It's only a metre. It's four, it's not very wide. Um, double that, which is what, it's probably about less than a metre wide. I don't know what that is. Um, but it's, um, does it have anything down the side? no but i i like the color of it i like the blacks and the reds in it so i figured i can make a use of that i've got some ideas and if i make a use of it and if christmas does take over if we do get christmas then i i shall be uh putting up a couple of videos of what i've made with it so that one and how much was that that was um that was a meter and it was 625 then this is where i splashed out <laughs> because this one was 12 pound a meter and i got to on. Oh, yeah i've got a meter and a half of it and this is a pink jersey a pink jersey i was tied between that and another one that said tobacco leaves. It was called tobacco leaves. The tobacco leaves was £12 a metre as well. And I thought, well, I kept looking from one to the other, one to the other, one to the other. And I kept thinking, which one will I go for? And this kept catching my eye. And I thought, right, well, we'll go for that because uh, it might go with the pinks and the greys and all sorts of that. Probably it, it was because I've got the pinky hair. I thought that might go well with that. So that's a metre and a half. I might make, uh, well, I'm going to make some kind of drapey top with that. So then the next one was, uh, let's put that by there. The next one was a, a polyester crepe. Uh, if it's, no, not that. Not that. Magnolia floral crepe. And I got two metres of that. And it was 3.75 a metre. And this is what it looks like. Isn't that beautiful? So I figured two metres, I might get a, a nice top out of it. As I thought that pinks and blues again, just my kind of colours. So two, 2.75 a metre. No, what did I say? 3.75 a metre. So it's stretch, it says it's stretch crepe. It's kind of... I don't know, I can't see any. Oh, it's got a little bit of stretch that way. A little bit that way. Not much that way. And obviously diagonally you'll get a, a little bit of stretch. But that's not, that's quite nice there. There, I'll show, stand up and let you see. I think it's going to look quite nice. You know, I like these pinky purples. So that's the next one. And lastly, oh no, not, well lastly, but I did have something else. And lastly was this one. The, the other one that isn't there was a piece of ribbon. Oh no. I got a jigsaw puzzle for the granddaughter. <laughs> a Peppa Pig jigsaw puzzle. 
and I, ca I got the carrier bag. So, um, in a, a bundle of ribbon, well, one bundle of ribbon that was 45 pence, it must be in my basket. But the last piece I got was I got three meters of, and it is called where is it? Two, 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 one and a half, three. Stretch Rose DIY print in navy, and it was three pound eighty a meter. And this is it here. So I thought a very nice dress. It's going to be in my face, like it's a one. It's going to be an in your face type dress, but it might look a bit nicer once it's on. So that is what I've bought. And this fabric, this is a stretch jersey. It's very thin. It's quite thin. Um, I'm not normally one for wearing jerseys, but uh, oh, I shouldn't say that. You, you do wear jerseys. Uh, I have been saying that I prefer not to wear jerseys. I prefer to wear, wear man-made. But I have got some dresses made with this kind of stuff. And it, one, one of my viewers said, well, how can you wear that? And the thing that, that I find is... The ones that I've made have been the ones that have got a fitted bodice, but they've got a flared skirt. And the fact that it has a flared, flared skirt, it lets the air draft, the draft waft up. And so you, it keeps you cool. Whereas if you have a one that's very clingy and very close, that's when you're sweating and you're getting too hot. So I think I'll get away with that being the, being the way it is. So there you go. That was my purchase from Boys. I'm very pleased with it. I'm very impressed with it. I'm so sorry that poor lady. She said there's about 12 of them are losing their jobs. And so sadly, um, although I'm trying my best to buy stuff from these places to keep the businesses going, it's obviously, you know, understandably, and obviously it's not keeping everybody going. Our business... Um, and we are in semi-retirement sort of because we're still taking in orders and, and doing some but unfortunately there's not really that many orders coming in and we don't anticipate any coming in until next year so we've just got to grin and bear it and hope that we can get by so that's my boys fabric haul hope you enjoyed watching see you later lovely day I could have just done with sitting outside in a cafe and having a cup of coffee at the pub which is across the other side but never mind his lordship is babysitting his granddaughter he's done <laughs> he's halfway through his 120 mile round trip he's been down brought her back and now he stays for three hours and then goes back and takes her back um, and uh, at the moment he's uh, he's on his way he's on his way to pick he's on his way down and he will be picking the granddaughter up from school the older one anyway i'm on my way to the post office i'm going to drop some parcels up i've got a basket full of uh, plates and things for my customers and then i have had i got a pinged message from christine hi christine she would message me to say did you know that um no, oh god i've forgotten the name little little are having a sale of um surger threads surger cones surger threads I, i'm not sure now my father always used to swear by little it's a german company and um he always said that they had some fantastic things in so um i normally we don't go to little no normally we wouldn't go there but because his lordship isn't here i'm going to have a little trip there and then i also want to go to the range because i want to get some stuff from the craft center part so there we go i've got round and i'm going to go into the post office in a minute and i'll join come back and see you in a few minutes Right, well the post is done, you can put the mask back in there, although I'm still preferring these ones, the paper ones, I don't feel as claustrophobic in the paper ones as I do in the, in the cloth ones, um, 
I have made a few cloth ones, but I've, just, I've tried all sorts of styles. The style I'm doing, I've made at the moment is that one, like the uh, the pleated one, uh, which is uh, which is good. That's a bit on the small side, though. I think I'm going to have to make them bigger. But I always feel a bit hot and clammy with the. Uh, oh, might help if you turn the engine on, mightn't it? Right there. We go. Right. Well. So this little car that I have is um, this little car is a it's not like it's not an automatic I gather in America a lot of you have automatics and this is um, uh, not many people in England like automatics I find them quite boring <laughs> Um, we've had, we all drive these or, these ordinary um, gear cars, I don't know what you call them, manual, ca manual cars, manual cars, and uh, there's something nice about changing gear and going fast and doing things. So, um, I am on my way to Lidl and we'll see whether they've got any thread. I might take you with me. Well, I'm back and Christine was correct. It's the first time I've been in Lidl for a long time. It's really, really nice. I love the fruit and the vegetables. I'll have to try and drag his lordship here to let him see, um, to see what it's like. It's, uh, I've got some thread. The thread was, I'm gonna have to show you when I get back home because it's in the basket behind me. And this is a two seater car. This is a two door car. And it means I've got to turn around and lean over to get it, so you're going to have to wait. Anyway, the next stop for me is the range. To the craft department in the range. So, put my glasses back on so I can see the traffic. And fathom out how I get out of this car park because I've never been this one before. I believe I do. Yes, there was, um, I'm well impressed by a little. My father always used to swear by it and say it was a great place. Um, not everything in, that's, I think that's the only downside. My son goes shopping at Aldi and he says he makes an amazing saving with, uh, with his shopping at Aldi and he keeps saying, mommy should go there. But they don't sell everything. So I, to me, um, I don't think it's, for me personally, I don't think this is much to be gained by having to buy half of your stuff at one supermarket and then going and driving to the other supermarket to get the second lot of stuff. But uh, having said that, I am well impressed by what's there. They don't, I know we, we are very, there's a special coffee we like and um, they didn't have it so that would be a downer for us. But they're fruit and veg, oh and they have a bread section. I didn't know they had a bread section where they had cooked food, um, cakes and things. So I'll have to take him to let him see. Um, one day when I'm driving the car, you see, we don't do it when he's driving, 
because he goes his own way but I sometimes I'm known for suddenly if I'm heading in a straight line direction I suddenly say oh let's go and have a look here and you say why are we going this way because I haven't been this way and I'm going to see what's down here so I shall probably be taking him there to see what's a little sometime now then on to the range and I'm going to go all the way around I think to the next section well the Covid in this area not in this area we are not too bad but um, the Covid on either side of us in the counties on either side of us are not very good in fact they are at a dangerous level and they're in such a dangerous level that they are lock there's lockdown uh, it's kind of a semi lockdown there and um, which means that no households can mix and we are hoping <laughs> we are sitting there with our fingers crossed because we have a holiday book next week to go with John and Barbara and Liz to a little cottage in Norfolk in North Norfolk now North Norfolk doesn't have very much COVID so that's an, that's a plus side that's good um, but also uh, <laughs> um, sorry I'm watching this lady moving a, a lorry a car it's like a lorry we English people have a lot of us have little cars and when you see somebody with a massive car you wonder how on earth they can drive it because it's so big um, anyway what was I going to say this uh, this trip is going to Norfolk to North Norfolk well I'm back from my trip around the range and uh, they're busy filling all the shelves we've been this very busy place and uh, all the Christmas stuff is up let's just hope that Christmas happens for everybody it's uh, not looking too good anyway I was going to go for a coffee to cost a coffee but I don't think they're open to go in and uh, I've just been out to see if they're open so I think I might go around and buy a coffee to take home well I'm back from my little trip it's cold it's gone cold now so I've got my gilet on to keep me warm and uh, I'll show you some of the things that I bought anyway Lidl's Lidl's I bought some some cones of thread and they were 175 I think each at first I couldn't see the price and I'm looking and there's prices on on this layer for the stuff that's below and there was no prices for the, the for the what was above and then I realized you had to look right up there <laughs> I showed you because I'm not used to little but I bought four five I bought a white a navy a red I bought two whites a navy a red and a black five colors two four colors <laughs> get it right <laughs> and they are they're just they're not massive cones they are Overlock sewing thread, two ply, quality thread suitable for high sewing speeds, thread strength 40 stroke 2, 100% polyester, and they are called Crelando with Ocatex. But I'd, rather than get all the same colour, I thought I would get different ones because when I sew on my overlocker, I don't use all the same colours. A, I use, I'm using up what I've got left in my drawers because when I used to go to a factory years and years and years ago, they used to sell cones of thread and I used to buy it from a sewing machine, pop it in a cup at the back and use that instead of the small bobbin of thread. And of course, I've got loads of them, so I'm going to use them up, but... I find that when I mix the colours, when I have four different colours, I get an overlocking thread that's all different multi-colours and it does several things. It shows me which thread is not doing the right stitch, which tension needs changing, uh, if, it, if there is a problem with tension. It also brightens up the seams. Uh, it tends to make the seams look a bit brighter. Now, I think I've got one in here. Yeah, this one, this one here. I've got rainbow it's a rainbow overlocking thread that I used on here and on there and 
I just think it, it brightens the seams up rather than having a standard colour and I don't mind that so I've got those five cones but they will go into the bottom drawer with the rest of the cones that I have but not bad for price and the second thing I got from Lidl were these and they are I don't know if you can see those they are they are it's cotton like a wool a crochet or a knitting wool it's a yarn and it is called it's by Orchitex again it's Crelando as well so I've got a pink a pale pink and the lilac there not very easy there that's better and um, you can use them for crochet and for knitting and it's got a little leaflet in here it's a little leaflet with a pattern to tell you how to make a pot oh to make those pot holders can you see to make these pot holders and uh, there's a little little instruction leaflet with uh, telling you how to crochet them this one's the pinks and this one is three shades of blue there's a, a turquoisey blue a pale uh, a sky blue an ice blue and a very pale blue and is there anything i can tell you 325 gram balls and um both of them have the little pot holder pattern inside and uh, it tells you what size needles on the side tells you what size needles to use so i got those and they were then the next thing i got was these and these were fat quarters are they fat quarters cotton fat quarter fabrics and um ah i noticed that in the back was an instruction and i think the instruction is to tell you how to make that to make that cushion i've just realized that yes it is so they actually give you instructions on how to make the cushion like that out of the fabric so i got two lots and one lot i got was um a nice gray so you've got that one that one the gray and this one and i just i think they're rather it's rather a nice combination that one so that is one i got two i wasn't so keen on the other colors this second one does the same thing it shows it's, it must include a pattern for that pillowcase and the one this on this one are the greens and let's start at the back um turquoise green green with spots of pinks and blues and greens and limes then we have a lime green and then we have lime spots so not a bad color coordination there so grays and greens and the price for those again overlock thread was 179 each the uh, uh, the crochet yarns those were 399 each and I, I did show you in the in the video they are selling sewing machines and um sergers and the serger was 139 pounds and i think it was a singer so i think that's probably a good bargain i'll look it up and see what the singers are in um for other companies and we'll see whether it's whether it's been a good whether it's a good bargain and then the fat quarters the fabric ones were 3 99 that's not bad 3 99 for four pieces of fabric and the last thing i bought was this one which was 5 99 and it was an led magnifying kit and i don't know if you see it's basically it's a freestanding one so that when you're working underneath you can look through the top um don't really need it myself at the moment but i'm figuring i'm figuring maybe one day i might need it <laughs> perhaps one day my aunt where how can i open this or something perhaps one day my eyes will will seize up on me and i might need to uh i might need to use one of these so this let's have a look at it and see whether how good it is it is um oh what is it now it's one big magnifying glass with um a double magnifying part here so that's for to see really close up can you see me and that one is to see really close up and it is on a bracket like this so that that sits on the table and this tightens up like that 
I would have thought. So when it's sat up it's like that and interestingly in, there's also if I pull that out and do that it's got a magnifying light it's got a light on it so you can see better when you're working and that lights up exactly where you're working which is good I should maybe just put it towards me like that and lighten myself up <laughs> so that I'm quite I'm quite pleased with that that's turned out quite nice it is getting dark so you might not be able to see very well what I'm doing um, it says it's a German one, a Bressa. Well, well made. I'm quite impressed by that. So that's the Bressa one, and that was five ninety nine. So then I went to the range, and I bought quite a lot of things. I bought some Fimo clay. If you, though, for those of you who know what Fimo clay is, it's for making things with. And I've got some plans to make uh, a few things with Fimo clay. I've got a box full of Fimo clay, but I wanted to get some extra additions. But what else I bought were these, and these were a pound each, and they were flower hangers. And there's one of them, a little flower hanger for hanging things on. And I have, on the side of my machines, I have a little sucker that takes my scissors. I thought that would be quite good on the side of your machine because it looks pretty. You've got two colours. One is the uh, one is one is red and the other one is orange. Orange and green and red and orange. And um, they can go anywhere. I could put them up on my shelf for hanging scissors on, but also you can use them on your sewing machine to hold to hold your scissors or hold some um tweezers or something on so i thought they were quite nice two for a pound they were like them i did like those then when i was at uh <laughs> at the range you've got to wear a mask as you know when you're going around these shops now it's legal it's illegal not to wear a mask so i came i was walking around and i came across the room scent stuff and i had to keep taking my mask off to to smell stuff and I went for this because it was cheap. What is this one was? What's this? Where where's the pricing? This one cost me um $3.99. The, the what I wanted to show you is <laughs> it did smell nice. I was going around, I had kept pulling my mask down, smelling that one, pulling my mask down, smelling that one. Pulling my mask down, smelling the third one. The one I liked is always the one you like is always the one that they don't have any left. They only have the bottle on display, which is most annoying. And uh, but so this one smelled quite nice. But um, that's the bottle. There's a nice, lovely bottle, a nice sparkly type of bottle. <laughs> and it still smells quite nice. But do you, you never guess what it is? It's called three ninety nine. It's called. Let's see if you can see it. I'll bend that like that, and you can probably see. It. It's called sparkling prosecco. <laughs> and so, if that's what prosecco tastes like, it's rather nice. It's fruity. It's got a fruity smell. So I would imagine that's what I. I think I've only. We went for a. a, a and again, my son, my son and his wife treated us to, um, I think I put it on video once, uh, uh, an afternoon tea on the top of the Baltic in Newcastle upon Tyne. And when we went, the lady said, you get a Prosecco, a free Prosecco to go with your tea. And I said, oh, I've never had Prosecco before. What's it like? And she said, you've never had one before. And I said, no. I said, I only usually have fizzy water. <laughs> Uh, and she said, oh, she says, you, you don't know what you're missing. She said, try Prosecco. So I did try and I did like it actually. Um, and it was just like champagne, I suppose. So I really enjoyed it. Um, oh, sorry, I'm watching there's somebody going across the road. Anyway, so I did enjoy it, but uh, it's, and it has a fruity champagne smell. So this is rather like Prosecco. So people are going to walk into the... I'm going to, it was, it's intended to be in here. I've already got one, but I think this one is... Oh, it's dried out, this one. There's nothing left on this one. 
so um i just thought i'd do this but people are going to think i'm on the i'm on the i'm drinking alcohol all the time <laughs> now where did i put my glasses eh? then i bought these because i've already bought some of these cellophane things for my patterns to protect them and this is for the vogue ones and the buttrick patterns which seem to be a lot bigger this is a 50 pack of 8 by 8 inch clear plastic bags and i think that was plastic bags 2.99 so for 50 packs that 50 in there that's not bad then the next thing i bought was i bought well this is basically for work i bought a little notebook to go by the side of my computer because I have to each day I have a list of things I've got to do and I, I like I usually write it in a diet in a book but I, I like a little thin notebook I was using post-it notes and basically to tell me what I've got to do so I can cross this cross it off as I go and then if there's any extras I can add to that once it's done I can rip the page out and go for the next one so this was a little book I got two of them because I thought they were so nice and I, I worried and I was a bit concerned in case they would run out uh, for the next time so these are called noteworthy slim notebooks and they are by door crafts and they cost me ah there these were one for these were 149 each and they're quite pretty with flowers on there and just notes at the top um so i figured i'd get those have that by the side of my computer which by the way we had to buy a new computer the other day my old computer which is not really an old one it's a it's a new one but it's the most important piece of software that i have on it kept crashing and he's quite good with computers he tried to fix it couldn't get it to fix and then he just said right come on we're going to buy a new computer and i went what what <laughs> so the computer that i've got the original one i can do my processing for this these videos and the other one's going to be a work one here she is little mousy little girl who won't shut up um the next thing i got which <laughs> it's like taking what they what they say taking calls to newcastle because newcastle area is where all the coal mines used to be so this is a bit like taking calls to newcastle but i just was so, I, I quite was quite taken by it and i didn't it didn't have a price so what did that cost me uh, oh wow it is a make yourself fashion face cover i liked it in particular a because of the fabric b because it's pleats and c when i read the instructions you get three lots of fabric in there and this i'll turn it around there's the fabric you get the clips you get spools of thread you get three pieces of fabric and you get the instructions i'm going to open it up and let you see and it's this cost me it's actually for a person eight plus so it could be for a child but i quite like the fabric and i thought oh i might make myself a mask especially as i say because it's pleated because i find that the best masks that i've got are the pleated ones and so this was only two pound 99 which for three masks is i couldn't even probably couldn't even do it that cheap myself so if I open it up, you get three pieces of fabric. Oh, and you get the white lining to go with it. So you, that's the first one. That's the second one. And that's the third one. And then you get three pieces of white cotton for the backing fabric. Very nice. Not bad for $2.99. Um so that you get that and then you get uh, what's in here all these i save all my bits of plastic because when i'm sending stuff to my customers from my ebay shop i often need plastic bags and uh, and cardboard so i often reuse them you get three spools one two three spools of thread so I've got a red, a black and a navy blue and I think 
I think. By the way, this is my, I didn't think when I bought this from Heart, from um, the Knitting and Stitching Show last year, I think it was, I thought, oh, I'm never going to use that. But I really do like it. I find it handy. I find it so much easier to get into than the tin the little box of uh, spools that I have. And they basically fit into there, into the little gaps. Um, and does that match? Are they the same size as those? Are they marginally bigger? No, they're the same size. So I'm not only just getting three spools, but I'm getting three reusable spools. So that's good. So I've got uh, three spools of thread and then I have three of these little clips. Three sewing needles, I suppose, if you want to sew them by hand. Three of your metal ties, which go on there. You know, I do the aluminium ones. These are like what they put in them. And... A little pencil a little red red tip pencil which must be a chalk a chalk type pencil and um, and then the elastics six elastics so I think that, isn't that a bargain for 2 .99? Wow I'm tempted to go back and get some more <laughs> So anyway, you've got all that there. Those are all the little um, the little notions and things that you need in there. You've got your fabric. And here you have your little piece of paper with the Chinese stamp on, just to prove to you that you've got this. This is originally from China, uh, <laughs> where they actually gave you what, you, what you're trying to protect yourself from. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. And then you have an instruction leaflet. So, uh, let's see how. To, oh, and you, it tells you from here where you fold your fabric. It's got the mark. Oh, that's quite interesting. That you've got your marks there across the top, your marks down the side for folding your fabric, and you've got your complete details there. So, so I am I'm quite pleasantly pleased with that. I picked it up and I thought, should I really go for that one? You can make your own. But to be honest, because it's becoming compulsory and because we are using masks, we're going to have to use masks at least right till next March. I figured that the more masks I have, the better. Um, so that is that one, which was the make your own face covering. Again, two ninety nine. Not bad. Not bad at all. What else did I get? Um, oh, yes. I bought two candle holders, two candle holders, one like that and one in it like that. Now how much were they? They were one ninety nine each and I've got a purpose for them but I'm not going to tell you what they are yet because I'm in the process of doing it. Um, suffice to say that that's part of it. It's the wrong way around, but that's part of it. See if you can guess. And the other thing that I got, I don't know how good it is. They don't look as good as the as the felt that I got the last time. But I got three pieces of felt in a peachy beige colour, so that I can use to cut out another pattern from the Luna Lapa friends book i might I, I, w I was thinking about making another rabbit but then i thought well maybe i should look and see what other animals i can do but it's a peachy color they had lots of colors but that was the peachy that caught my eye orangey peach color it was going to be a rabbit they did have a brown but i thought brown was boring and the other felt that i've got is fuchsia pink so i could do a fuchsia pink rabbit be a change um so those three pieces of felt were fifty pence each. So that's one fifty one pound fifty's worth of felt. So that, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, oh, and then I got myself a couple of these battery charging um, multicolor LED lights. I figured that since Christmas hasn't come yet. And a lot of people will be buying Christmas lights. They've got all the Christmas decorations up. I figured let's get them now while while I can. 
the other thing that I got which I've put away oh I've got it. there's another thing a couple of other things I got because I always every Christmas I buy an extra something for the tree I bought that one and that one was 59 pence a little uh, snowman wooden it's wooden to be honest, I could have made these myself on our laser, but I just figured, right, we'll get that. And the other one I saw was this one, which I thought was quite nice, 3D, and that was £1.19. So those are some Christmas decorations. Oh, I might as well show you what else I got. I also tempted, I was tempted, I, I love houses, so I love on my pinterest page i have a, a section on how wooden houses little houses made of stones or out of uh, driftwood and stuff and i saw that and i thought i wouldn't mind that to assemble and put on my windowsill and paint assemble paint and put on my windowsill and that was uh what was that what's it called bare basics make your own oh myo ah that was 250 two pound fifty it's a little wooden house that you assemble my kind of thing so i figured i'd like to do that you know i've got the little um the little sewing machine and chair on the windowsill i've also got three little pots of little glass pots of of dra of fabric flowers which i've got on the windowsill uh and i just thought i would use that as well get that as well so that's those um and so the other la and finally the last thing i bought and these were uh oh, where were these I just caught these caught my eye and I thought I've got, there's something I've, I must be able to do something with and these are a bag of buttons but they are neon buttons and they are there's big ones really big ones I'll show you on both sides big buttons and I wasn't thinking for sewing I was thinking I must be able to make some kind of display of some sort with buttons and this bag of buttons in bright yellows bright greens bright pinks bright orange that was it were three pa three pound for the bag so i again i shall find something to do with them and i'll no doubt show you so that ladies and gentlemen is another drawer full of stuff <laughs> my children are going to say what the heck are you going to do with this lot <laughs> instead of decluttering and getting rid of all the stuff in our house which we are that house over there is decluttered this little house here is getting more and more stuff and it's actually not to be honest i am clearing quite a lot of stuff out and uh, uh quite a lot of stuff is um i'm decluttering i i am especially on the fabric side i'm making things trying to get as much made not as much made now i will do but i'm trying to um trying to declutter declutter and tidy up somebody i think it was uh, angela said when are you going to do give it give us a tour of your she shed well when i've tidied up angela i'll give you a tour of my she shed and not before <laughs> It's a bit of a mess, isn't it, pussy cat? This, but it's wrapped. It is. You see, she says yes. She says a bit. Isn't it a bit of a big mess? Is it a big mess? Is it? Yeah. Do you think I need to tidy up? Do you think I need to tidy up a bit more? Yes. Tell the people who makes the most mess in this house. You do you don't make a mess no you don't you don't make a mess i do i well i'm not really i don't really make a mess i don't really make a mess do i really no i just my my hobbies take up a lot of room don't they 
Mm. Mm. Do my hobbies take up a lot of room? Yeah. Mm. My hobbies take up a lot of room. Yeah, what's the matter? What's the matter? Are you going to say hello to people? You're not going to say hello? No? Why not? Why not? You're not going to say hello to anybody. She was as stiff as anything, just slackening up now. She's relaxing. She's just starting to relax a bit and purr. But when I lifted her off there, she was terrified. I don't know why, because I do lift you a lot. But you just got this terrified feeling that something's going to happen to you. Maybe, maybe sometime in the past somebody did something naughty to you. And you're just frightened it's going to happen again, are you? It won't happen. It's not going to happen again here. Not with people who like pussy cats. Might happen with that nasty man in the house when he doesn't like cats. But even he won't be that nasty. No, even he won't be that nasty. Anyway, I'm going to stop there. And we'll catch you next time. Bye.